Welcome to Voyage Africa. I am Roy Heritage. On this voyage, we set off from Accra to the Volta region to explore Willy Waterfalls. This is the Volta experience. Through the forest of Abumacha to reach the waterfalls. We needed to stop by for some porridge and bread. Unfortunately, the seller did not understand English. You don't understand English. Because the falls is located close to Togo, most of the locals speak the Ebe language or French. <laughs> she gave us too much. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't wait for the cattle to cross the road, but just wait for it. Our boy. I am not a Ah. Out of bounds, challenge the whole area come Sure, out of bounds, challenge the So, how how do you see the trip so far from Accra? Uh, very tiring and uh, it's a challenge. Right. It's a challenge. And so we got like, lost. We, yeah, we got and lost. And we are in the wrong place. <laughs> and we are not sure okay. whether we are going to get to... Actually, we know the name of the town that we are heading towards. But we don't know whether we will get to the Blue Waterfalls. That's we right. We might. Mm. Um, but we, we also want to get there. So we are just we just keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll this is and the Chai Road, you know. What should I do? <laughs> And we got lost. We have just been informed that this particular road leads to Togo. But our well, we just turned back and then we are headed back to home. And then uh, we'll probably lodge ourselves into another guest lodge and then we'll take it from there. Then early tomorrow morning we will go to the waterfalls. It was about another hour drive to the town of Logbe where we lodged for the night because we had already elapsed the day. Why not the cold one? Quick lesson though, we stopped by a filling station and instead of petrol, the attendant filled our tanks with diesel, which left us in the middle of nowhere. Luckily we got help from a few locals who brought a mechanic to remove the fuel tank and drain everything out. We 
we did take a walk in the ghost town as everyone was asleep. Now, there is a Thai driver sleeping with his face mask intact. No one taking any chances. Right, so in case you ever wondered how the Adome Bridge looks at dawn, there you have it. <laughs> Can't believe I paid 120 Ghana cities for this. <laughs> it's been a long drive from Accra to the water region. We finally launched into a hotel facility in town called, well, a town called Logba. I am not going to review the hotel, but I will show you all the few interesting things I am experiencing in the hotel. I am working on a full map reviews, what to expect, where to lodge, affordable places I will recommend when visiting all the regions in Ghana. Total reviews of our tourist centers and more. So if you haven't subscribed, please do and hit the notification bell to get updates when I post them. It's been a very adventurous journey so far with us missing the roads. Thanks very much to Google Maps, but we finally managed to figure it out. We got here late, reason we had to lodge for the night. Tomorrow, I will be visiting the highest waterfall in Ghana and the tallest in West Africa. So see you all in the morning. Have a good night. Good morning. So we woke up in the morning and then the car is not starting. Oh. <laughs> but it's all part of the journey. We hope it starts so we can get to really falls. Okay, then let's 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 go to the free station with no, it's here. Okay. Okay, okay. In the whole of the town of Lagbe, they have just one mechanic. Fortunately or unfortunately. So we have one. He seems to he's good. So he's been able to figure it out that is the starter. To be the only mechanic in the town of Logbe, you need to be extremely good. The mechanic charged us 20 Ghana cities equivalent to 4 USD, which is really good compared to what you will be charged in Accra for the help. We continued our journey from Logbe and stopped by the Tafi Atome Monkey Sanctuary, which is just 10 minutes drive on the road. Do stop by before continuing to the falls as it's an awesome experience with the monkeys there.
finally I am at Willy Waterfalls. The road do after Lugbe, oh my God, but that doesn't matter any more. Willy Waterfalls is the place to be the highest waterfall in Ghana and the tallest in West Africa. 20 kilometers from Hohoi, 80 meters high. A walk through the forest of Agumacha, you get a chance to see fruit bats hanging on the waterfalls, different species of butterflies and more. You will love the way you are welcomed at the waterfall come with your cameras come and enjoy the scenery i didn't experience any extortion of money whatsoever which is great this is what we are looking for a chance for the tourists to enjoy the experience and take memories along with them at our tourist sites i recommend willy waterfalls in ghana this is for heritage phd enjoy the scenery at willy waterfalls Important people, this is really waterfalls. This is your heritage PhD. Enjoy the experience. Okay, so it's been a wonderful journey, and finally we are headed back to Accra. It's been a roller coaster of a ride here, but it all topped up. It was nice. The experience was good. We had fun here at the really waterfalls. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.